Look who's a genius boy. Yeah, I saved that fucking warp point. And Look it who's right. a oh, wait, genius yeah. boy. Almost, almost fucked that's, up. That's, Actually, you know what, no. You smart cookie. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you, you continue to surprise me, Tony. My dad always said I was a real fart smeller. Welcome back to Ocarina of Time, everybody. <laughs> My name is Jeffrey Stoner. This is Tony. Hi, Tony. Hey! Oh, dude. Be sure to like and subscribe. Get and inside me. You could throw your bottle through the wall. No, I no, I want to. Try using I, the bottle. I want to eat him. Okay, well, use the bottle first and then eat him. Well, he's got to pop up through this wall first. Keep swiping the bottle. Mm. Closer. Mm. Closer. Mm. Closer. I think, he's gone. I think he think he flew away. All right, well, go get the other one then. <laughs> there we go. Now All right. We're full. Now we can walk out the door and back in the door and and then we furore and then we fucking Well, then... luckily now we won't have to do any water nonsense. <laughs> Brings it away from the wall. Yeah, exactly. Fuck that thing. Smart. Smart. Eh. Don't accidentally use the same bottle twice. You'll just pop a fairy. Uh-huh. Nice. Sounds like oh, it, it sounds like a fucking we're set. We're this, ready to go. It sounds like an injury thing you say like that. Ah, watch where you throw that thing. You'll pop a fairy. <laughs> no, my uncle popped a fairy once. <laughs> He'll tell you it's not fun. Couldn't walk for three days. Hmm. Can I dazzle him? Give him the old razzle. I'm thinking. Razzle, dazzle him. All right. So we gotta go back down. There's a here. clam down there. There's a clam. Yeah. Just waiting to jam. Do we want to walk there or do we want to teleport back? I mean, to do the thing you were saying before. Yeah, because now the water levels up. We don't. We genuinely don't need to. Okay, fine. So you could just leave your boots on. Eh, leave your booties on. Wouldn't be the first time someone. You won't need. You can just leave your boots. All right. So. <laughs> uh, what was it? Let's see. It was um, not the oh dude. My God. <laughs> no, that was a different one. Um, uh, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. That's what it was. Yeah. How did? Wait. What do you mean? Boo -doo 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 -doo? That. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I just hummed the notes. Oh my God. So. There's like one extra note between this and the successful open door song. I mean, no, I'm just trying to like remember the fucking the tunes. That's all. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Like, I just I just memorize tunes, and then on top of that, like the easiest way to to look at this is it's it's just going up. So one, two, three, those are higher notes than each other, right? Yeah. And then you just go to the next set. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh it's my god. <laughs> I'm learning so much from a guy who's played this a fraction of a fraction of how long I've played this. <laughs> That's what it is, man. It's the it's the genuine like first experience and I love it. You're coming at this with all the video game knowledge of the of the years that you've played. <laughs> and you play <laughs> That sounded funny. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Listen! <laughs> Before there was auto tune, there was Navi in the water. That's what you know, I'm gonna go to a around here. Don't want to see me, I'm gonna go all around here. Alright, alright. <laughs> Fucking juke this fool, get him in the water. And he's gonna be like, oh, I'm man. a water strider, actually. Water strider. I'm a water strider. Yeah, strider, strider, strider. <laughs> like he's a Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god, I caught a strider. <laughs> oh. 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 Was there? How many fucking fairies? I need more bottles. Well, they did this for the people who aren't smart fellows. Oh. Oh fuck. <laughs> I, I need- they're back, they're wait, back. Wait, wait, can you for Roar's Wind inside the boss room? Oh, I really want to try, Tony. We're trying! We got- we got the fucking mana. Where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? No. 
All right, we don't need the ocarina. I. All right. No, fuck you. No. Well, we got back clean. All right, we will start in the center. We're gonna go up oh, too sharp. It's fine. You're getting better at this room. Well, now that I know I could turn, that was a real fucking difference. A you real just can't big... turn as sharp. Yeah. Oof. No, it's fine. I was I was gonna turn into it otherwise. So there we go. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> no. Ah. Uh... That would have been funny if that just kicked me right back in. That would have been nice. Uh, now you're just gonna take all the heart damage beforehand. It's fine. Oh, oh, you made it. You're in. Yeah. All right, now we're gonna try and use Furore's Wind on the inside of the boss room. <laughs> Back for more, motherfucker! Aww. All right, so the correct answer is you do it at the bottom of the steps. Well, there's no point. The point was to skip the spikes. I wonder if I can stun him still. It does let me do it, so... Just wait for him to be out of it? Yeah. Ah, uh, no. Bitch. Get back. Oh, I can, I can tell already. This guy is super dead now. <laughs> You've got his moves down pat. What does that even mean? I think... I've always heard it packed. Packed? Like, like, pack down kind of thing. Maybe even pat down like, or I don't know. But who, who fucking knows? I thought it was like pat like patent. But then Maybe. that doesn't make any no, sense. No, that, that probably makes more sense than what I'm thinking. I we'll don't fucking out. know. Got it. I usually just say down, locked in. Pat. Yeah, that's a, that's a question. You got it down packed or you got it down pat? Uh, everyone says Pat. Now the question is, where does it come from? So it is Pat. Yeah. Uh, the phrase down Pat derives from an old meaning of the noun Pat, dated around 1400, meaning a strike or below. Today we think of Pat as a soft touch. But back then, it would refer to something like a strike Shit! with a weapon hand. I got a jumping strike on him. So that was pretty cool. So, think that to have it down pat means to have it down exactly, based on, derived from a sense of strike or hit upon target, meaning exactly. Oh. Exactly done or precisely timed, or perfectly suitable. Okay. And then, you want a fun one, go go look up the origin of Bob's Your Uncle. That one's a fun one. That's... okay. Bob's Your Uncle. Yeah, that one, along with blowing smoke up your ass, actually have <laughs> some historical... Really? Like, yes. Bob's your uncle. Hey, and if you're listening at home, you can look it up and watch <laughs> and, and try and find it with me. We're Googling in real time here. And with the internet, we're closer than ever before. To uh, due to Wikipedia, uh, Bob's your uncle is a phrase commonly used in the United Kingdom. All right. That means, and there it is, or, and there you have it, or, it's done. Typically, someone says it to conclude a s set of simple instructions, or when a result is reached. All right, now the origin. There you go. Robert Bob Cecil. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm just silently reading because I'm <laughs> trying to find the spot instead of reading an entire lecture. Sorry, guys. No, you're good. Um, to, to get it a little quicker, I think. Oh, I got it. Okay, cool. Yeah. So, the origins are uncertain, but a common theory is that there was this, this guy, uh, Prime Minister Robert Cecil, or Bob Cecil, um, was in power to appoint his nephew as the chief security for Ireland uh, in 1887. An act of nepotism, da -da. Uh, which was apparently both surprising and unpopular. Uh, whatever qualifications they might have had, Bob's your uncle, quote unquote, 
was seen as the conclusive one. Yeah, that's the thing. They were saying like, oh, so, life's easy when Bob's your uncle, kind of a kind of a, yeah. a thing. So that's why it's smooth. Like it's equivalent to saying it's smooth sailing from there. Wow. So it's like, oh yeah, you know, you just kiss up to a few higher ups here, and then you do a couple of things, and, and Bob's, Bob's your, uncle, your uncle. And next thing you know, you're a prime minister. You know that kind of thing. Jeez. Or whatever. Wait, you know. did you kill it while I wasn't looking? It helps. But so, anyways. <laughs> But yeah. Send Stoner on a wild goose chase. You know, fight the <laughs> boss and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great job, Tony. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it helps. Hey, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass, all right? It's, it's, it, all it right, does help. all right. I'll, I'll find the next one. <laughs> if I look up and the Shadow Temple boss is dead, I'm going to smack you. <laughs> Yay. All right, let's go over here and get and uh, talk to our beloved fishwife to be. Oh, I'm spinning. Oh, I'm spinning. The first thing that I see when I look up blown smoke up your ass is it used to be literal. Yes, Hold up. I'm trying it to. It used to be literal. Uh, I need origin. Origin. Give me. Hey, Ruto. You like smoke? <laughs> Tony. Tony, you, you can't. You can't start conversations <laughs> like that. I know what you're thinking. I would have expected no less from the man I'd choose to be my husband. Zora's domain and its people will eventually return to their original state. Yay. As a reward, I grant my eternal love to you. Thanks. <laughs> Pockets it. <laughs> well, that's what I want to say, but I don't think I can offer that now. Because I'm dead. Is that what it is? Everyone in here is dead? Yeah. Or, oh, no, no, no. She says she has to guard the water temple. As the sage of water. Okay, yeah. so she's busy. And you, you're searching for the princess Zelda. That bitch. Ha! Huh. I can't hide. You can't hide anything from me. I can't hide anything from me. Yeah, fair enough. Princess Zelda, she's alive. I can sense it. So don't be discouraged. And when you find that hussy, you, you stab that, her for me. You find that bitch. Send her these. <laughs> <laughs> she, she just shits out like a million eggs at him, just like like a fucking oh, machine gun. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Man down! Man Man down. 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 <laughs> sage of time. We have to get out of here. <laughs> Link! Link! You're alive. Get up! I can tell that nothing will stop you in your quest for justice and peace. You must take this medallion. Take it respectfully. Twenty years later, Link's in a hospital bed, <laughs> still having PTSD over Z-Day. <laughs> I have a medallion, you guys. Congrats! It's just, it's just, holy crap, look at this thing. Look, his face looks like, huh. It's, it's, it's just a weird smile. He's got a weird smile. He's got a yeah, weird face. I'm just going to say, he's got a weird face. You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> How could you say that about my little blonde boy? <laughs> if you see Sheik, please give him my thanks, okay? Okay. <laughs> I love how this game pulls the whole, like, I am your father with Sheik <laughs> at the end. I'm your daddy. No. <laughs> the, the equivalent. Oh, shit. As the water rises, the evil is vanishing from the lake. Tony, you did it. I'm just, like, so, so happy right now. So wet right now. That was amazing. Oh, there it's it is. It's filling up the lake. <laughs> oh, the, the lake. It's, it's back. <laughs> Did Ruto want to thank me? Yeah, but she also wanted to wanted you to go beat the shit out of Zelda for her. I see. I see. <laughs> <laughs> we have to return peace to Hyrule for her sake too, don't we? Oh, and she asked me to give you these. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me get the bag out. Fuck. Look at that, Tony. Together, you and Princess Ruto destroyed the evil monsters. Once again, the lake is filled with pure water. Nothing more. 
<laughs> All is as it was here. This made me so happy. That you filled the up the lake? The first time that I beat the water temple made me so... <laughs> oh, because the, the boots? You've, I've never seen that. You walk slow in a cutscene with the metal <laughs> boots. Well, it's I, an in-game cutscene, so... Yeah. I, I I didn't know. I I've never fought the water temple well, boss with the with the metal geez. boots on. <laughs> oh, she she's she's up on top of the tree now. And he's just like, oh, ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. She's gonna swim across the lake after that now, like and underwater if she doesn't want Link to see her. Yeah, but she already got like spotted. All right, let's go. Oh man, we're gonna. I remember this thing said when the lake Shoot is the sun. when the lake is full, fucking pop off, son. Yeah. Let's see. When the water fills the lake, shoot for the morning light. All right, let's do it. it has to be the morning light. Kill the moon. The sun will be in morning. Shoot it. Ah, I get it. All right, but also the sun just came out, right? So I think so. You missed. You missed. You missed. Maybe I did it a little too late. Yeah, you did. Sun song. All right, that one is All not right, the song I, of storms. Blow smoke up your ass. I was, I was, I was, I was on a mission. Okay. There we go. Do do do. Figure speech. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, he's finding it, folks. Oh my god. He's finding it! Oh my god. <clears throat> so, as stated by an article uh, written by Tareen Bouillon, thanks, um, back in the late 1700s, doctors literally blew smoke up people's rectums. Believe it or not, it was a general mainstream medical procedure used to, among many other things, resuscitate people who were otherwise presumed dead. Oh my god. In fact, it was such a commonly used resuscitation method for drowning victims particularly that the equipment used in this procedure was hung alongside certain major waterways, such as along the River Thames. Yep. Smoke stations, son. Hold up! Smoke- smoke stations. You got the fire arrow! Set it to see and your arrows will be powered up. If you hit your target, it'll catch fire. That's actually really cool. I love this game again. I wonder if it was actually like a booth. <laughs> it has its own sep. That's fucking yeah, cool. Yeah, fire arrows. Oh man, dude. Success. I'm gonna get so laid with this thing. Ah. Oh. Everyone's gonna be like, oh my god. Oh, he's doing. His it shafts again. are hot now. Jesus Christ, he's doing it again. I hate, I hate this guy. There we go. <laughs> well, we beat the water temple. Woo! 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 I think it's about time that we. Uh, did some of the Young Link things. Or maybe, for once in our goddamn lives, go to the fucking Sculptula house and get our reward. I just got attacked by a toucan. Dookie dookie. No! Oh, he didn't have a fucking chance. He got knocked all the way over there. <laughs> All right, what does this say? It doesn't say anything. All right, well, we better defile a grave. Yeah. Did we not already defile this one? I have no idea. I feel like we defiled this one. Look, it's it's Link's job to restore Hyrule and like defile, defile low rule. So. Defile low rule. He's the he's the one in charge of making Hyrule stays high, making sure Hyrule stays high. Exactly. Make Hyrule high again. <laughs> Ow! It sounded like you were set on fire. Oh, it's because you drew a fire arrow. Yeah. That explains it. Yes. Yeah, you've right. been down here. They sell bombs and Deku nuts and stuff like that. Yeah, I know. But it's fun <laughs> to disturb the peace. <laughs> Goodbye, low rule. See you in never another Zelda game. 
You think I'm dead? <laughs> it's just fucking. Oh man, that'd be. Fun. Can you imagine if? Well, actually, here, here, let me let me uh -oh. paint you a picture, Tony. Oh boy. Let Last me paint this picture this. for you. You're a dead guy, and then the plants around you start eating your carcass. Okay. And then, because they did that, those plants grow into Deku Scrubs. And that's my personal headcanon now. Thank you, everybody, for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Deku Scrubs are just plants that fed on the carcasses of Hylians and then gained sentience. Oh, well, yeah. I could have told you that. I never even played it. Did, am I spooking the opponent Epona? from all the way over here? No, I think she just does that whenever the, the sun sets. Oh. Or the sun rises. Okay. Well, you know what I didn't do? Sort of as like a horse clock. What's over here? Okay. Massive horse just, clock. Just this massive, like, throbbing horse clock. It's, hey, I mean, it's Link's horse clock. <laughs> he said, you know, Zelda, I got a horse clock. <laughs> <laughs> and, and on that note... We'll see you guys next time. Uh, if there is a next time later, everybody. Goodbye. Smack that horse ass. Don't beat off your horse clock, Tony. <laughs>